Hello everyone, Rich here again. You might have heard this story recently where someone on SkyDrive, actually not someone, multiple people on SkyDrive got the boot, got the ban hammer because they put files on their SkyDrive cloud storage account they were not supposed to. Now was it anything racy or illegal? No. It says here Dutch user Wings of Fury had uploaded 9 gigs of content and suddenly found his Windows Live account suspended. Lost access to his Hotmail, Xbox Live account, could not purchase apps, and couldn't upload anything to SkyDrive. Uh, let's see, he was blocked because there was a folder that contained content which was not allowed by the Code of Conduct of Microsoft SkyDrive. It was a private folder not shared to anyone else so it's not like he was flying out files to everybody uh, let's see he eventually gave up it says here he just created a new account so the deal is that if you're a SkyDrive user um, and especially if you use that same Microsoft account to play your Xbox with yeah you might want to watch what you put on there fortunately there's an easy way around this and I'm not saying this to encourage anyone to cheat the system, but it it's even gone so far as putting a word in the title of the file name can actually get you kicked off SkyDrive and kicked out of your Microsoft account, even for as simple as putting the word damn in the file name. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, how far is it going to go before, like, let's just say you have some legally... Uh, acquired music mp3s and you decide to, to put them on your SkyDrive account and then Microsoft will decide oh no no that's illegal boop gone well we don't want that happening which is why it is not a bad idea to know how to put your files into archives archive files and then make sure to put a password and encrypt them and I'm going to show this using 7-zip, which is free, at 7-zip.org, or just search for 7-zip on Google or Bing and you will find it easily. This is actually the 64-bit installer file. I'm going to use this as the example file. Let's just say I wanted to put this um, onto SkyDrive. And I wasn't exactly sure if it followed under the code of conduct or not, so I'm going to take the safe route and put it into an archive and encrypt it and put a password in front of it. Now does this guarantee safety on the system? Does it guarantee that you will not get the boot from Microsoft off SkyDrive if you archive files like this? No. But it makes the chances of it happening a lot less. So let's go ahead and do it. After installing 7-Zip, you will have access to the program. You can launch the file manager manually, but you can also do it from the context menu by right-clicking a file, files, multiple files, or a folder, and you get the 7-Zip thing right here. So we'll just do Add to Archive. And from here, it's actually really easy. Make sure it's a 7-Z, and then put in a password. So I'll put in a password and then encrypt and the name of the file is going to be right here now the the only encryption method here is AES 256 bit which is fine and then hit OK now when it does the encryption thing actually here it's the file right here and there it is and that's it and then you take this file and you post it over to SkyDrive instead of the offensive file because God knows what you're going to do with that file, right? <laughs> Who knows the evil thoughts that you're having with those files you have? Oh, we're watching you. Google's watching you, Microsoft's watching you. Yeah. It's scary, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm joking, obviously. Or am I? <laughs> anyway, so that's how you do it. Just um, if you have anything you want to post to your cloud storage that if you're just not sure if it's going to be um, breaking the code of conduct, whether it's SkyDrive or Google, Google Drive or Dropbox, whatever. Uh, actually, I'll give you another example. Images. Okay, let's just say you have 
an image of a woman and that woman happens to be wearing a swimsuit a bikini that is flesh colored okay the color of her skin that could be interpreted as a nude and get your account suspended I know it's that stupid with cloud storage services these days so protect yourself from getting your account getting the ban hammer and encrypt your stuff yes it's a bit of a pain in the butt to do it but you know better to suffer from a little inconvenience than having your account yanked right right 